Hello, this is the family and welcome back. Today, we are talking about another pharmacokinetic concept that sounds complicated, but is actually super intuitive when you get it. It's the volume of distribution, aka VD. So what is volume of distribution? Well, VD is a theoretical volume. It doesn't reflect a real body compartment, but it helps us understand how extensively a drug distributes throughout the body after it enters the bloodstream. From what you see in front of you, VD is basically a proportionality factor that relates the amount of drug in the body to the concentration of drug measured in plasma. From this relationship, you see that if a drug has high plasma concentration, it will have low VD. And if it disappears from the plasma, meaning that its plasma concentration is low, then it would have high VD. To understand this in action, let's visualize it. Imagine your body is a beaker filled with water. This water represents your central compartment or bloodstream. Now let's say the drug is like a drop of dye that we add to the beaker. What happens next depends on the drug's chemical properties and that's where volume of distribution comes in. If the dye stays in the water evenly dispersed, that means the drug is staying mostly in the bloodstream. It doesn't enter tissues much. The result, you will see a high concentration in the beaker or plasma. That's a low VD drug. These usually are hydrophilic or protein bound. So they stay in the central compartment. Now imagine your beaker isn't empty. It's got sponges submerged in the water. You drop in the same dye or drug, but now the dye gets absorbed into the sponges, your tissues. Even though the total amount of dye hasn't changed, the water in the beaker, plasma, looks more diluted because most of the dye is hidden away in the tissues. That's a high VD drug. It distributes far and wide. Drugs with high VD are usually lipophilic or tissue binding. They disappear from the plasma but are stored in tissues, creating a large theoretical volume of distribution. Now let's take a real world example. Let's say you injected 1000 milligrams of drug A and when you measured the plasma concentration you found that to be 10 milligrams per liter. That means the volume of distribution is 100 liters. Wow, your body doesn't even contain that much fluid. That tells us drug A must be hanging out in tissues. That's why VD is theoretical. It gives us insight into drug distribution behavior. VD is important when calculating the loading dose the dose you give to rapidly achieve a desired plasma concentration. And the formula is as follows. Loading dose equals VD times the targeted plasma concentration. So if you want a plasma level of 10 milligrams per liter and the volume of distribution of the drug is 40 liters, then the loading dose would be 400 milligrams. In a previous video, we talked about half-life and VD plays a big role in half-life. 
because VD isn't just a number. It's what we call a primary pharmacokinetic parameter. That means it's based directly on your body's physiology and the drug's physicochemical properties. VD isn't calculated from other PK or pharmacokinetic values. Instead, it helps us predict them. And that brings us to one of the most important relationships in pharmacokinetics, relating half-life VD and clearance. From what you see in front of you, we can say that if clearance stays the same, increasing VD would mean having longer half-life, which is reflected by having slower drug elimination. That's why lipophilic drug deeply distributed in tissues might hang out for weeks. And that's a wrap on volume of distribution. But before you go, do you think biologics would have a large or small VD? Drop your answer in the comments. I'll be watching. And if this made you go, uh-huh, smash that like button, hit subscribe and stay tuned. There is much more coming your way. And as always, until next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.